This week's thought for the week has been provided by Reverend Callow and is taken from Psalm 24, verse 7. It's entitled, Lift up your heads, you gates. Think of the pomp and pageantry that surrounds the Queen's annual opening of the Parliament. One of the traditions involves the usher known as Black Rod going over to the Commons to invite MPs to the House of Lords to hear the Queen's speech. As soon as they approach, the large doors are slammed in their face. They knock three times before being let in. This centuries-old tradition emphasises separation of powers, that is, the independence of the Parliament from the monarchy. Apparently, they only let the monarchy in if they choose to. Psalm 24 is a processional song of ascent, of worshippers going into the temple to worship God. It is thought to have been written to mark David's bringing of the ark into Jerusalem. It begins by acclaiming God as the creator of the whole universe, including who human beings and their institutions. It should therefore be taken for granted that God would be let into Jerusalem, his city, but no, they won't let him in. Hence the call for the gates to be lifted for the King of Glory to come in. This teaches us that although God is almighty, he does not force his way into our lives and institutions. The Holy Spirit is so powerful and yet gentle. Indeed, it is written in Revelation 3 verse 20 that Jesus said he is knocking at the door, but will only come in if we let him. He it was who wept over Jerusalem still weeps today over the hard heartedness of humanity as we continue to shut every gate through which the King of Glory would come in and make a positive difference. Hence it is our responsibility as believers with delegated authority to command the gates to be lifted. So wherever we sense that doors have been unjustly shut, we need to make this bold declaration. Lift up your heads, you gates. Go on now and do it. In Jesus' name. Amen. That's the end of today's service on YouTube. Time to grab a tea or coffee and head over to the Zoom channel using our regular login info. Today we can chat with one another, pray for each other, or even start an impromptu Bible study on today's talk. Hope to see you in a few minutes, but if not, stay safe and I hope you can tune into YouTube next Sunday. God bless.